Welcome. This training video describes how standard extensions are created and edited. It assumes that you are already familiar with extensions in general. If not, we suggest you watch our training video titled Extensions Part 1 Overview. The first step in creating or editing standard extensions is to select the Settings tab in the ribbon and then click Edit Standard Extensions. This displays the Standard Extension List window. The left side of the window shows a list of the standard extensions. To edit or delete an extension, you must first click on the extension in this list to select it. Then choose either the Edit or Delete button. Warning: You cannot delete a standard extension if it is currently in use by a standard trace, a project measurement, or a project quantity worksheet. When you try to delete a standard extension, eTakeoff will check all standard traces and all projects for usage. To create a new extension, you would select the Add button, which will display a submenu with these options Formula, Grid, Joist, Riser, and Roll. Select Formula to create an extension that uses formulas. This is the most common extension type. Grid extensions have all the functionality of formula extensions, plus, they calculate and display a grid of squares covering the measurement for use with any grid or tiled material such as tile floors or ceilings. Riser extensions have all the functionality of formula extensions. Plus, they allow a riser length to be entered for each point on the measurement. They are typically used for wiring runs. Joist extensions have all the functionality of formula extensions. Plus, they calculate and display a series of parallel members inside the measurement. The joist extension can be used for more than joists. Any measurement that needs a layout of parallel members can use it. For example, beams, rafters, and rake walls. Roll extensions have all the functionality of formula extensions, plus they calculate and display a series of rectangles showing how rolled material such as carpet or tar paper would cover the measurement. Grid, riser, joist, and roll extensions will be covered in separate videos. After selecting which type of extension to add, the standard extension edit window will be displayed. Here we will edit an existing formula extension to display all the options. The description field at the top of the window is the extension description or name. It will appear in the list from which you select an extension. The length unit of measure drop-down allows you to select the length unit of measure you assumed when creating the extension. In this example, the assumed unit of measure is feet. If the extension is used with a drawing that has a different unit of measure, such as meters, the area, length, and perimeter will be converted to the extension unit of measure before they're used in any calculations. The checkbox Calculate Disconnected Groups Individually, Then Total Them is usually not used. There are some cases such as calculating stud counts where it might be checked. For example, three walls 8 feet long would require more studs than a single wall 24 feet long. Most of the window is taken up by the extension field grid. Each row defines a field that is either entered manually or calculated based on values in other rows, plus the measured values of area, count, length, and perimeter. There are five types of fields that can be used. Checkbox, drop-down list, formula, numeric input, and text input. We will cover numeric input and formula fields in this video. Fields can be added to the bottom of the grid or inserted above the current focus row. Each field row has four columns, name, description, hide, and default slash formula. Name is used to refer to the field in formula fields below it. Field names must start with a letter or an underscore. The remaining characters can be letters, numbers, or underscores. No spaces are allowed in the name. The description is a text field used to describe what the fields does or instructions for using the field. The description appears in tooltips when using the extension. If the hide box is checked, the field can't be used in quantity worksheet formulas, as a trace data type, 
or as a quantity worksheet data type and it will not be included in the measurement quantity list in the toolbar or in the control panel. Default slash formula. For numeric input fields, you would input the default value here or leave it blank to enter the value while using the extension when measuring. Be careful here because if you enter valid defaults for all numeric input fields, new measurements using the extension will not display the red E error icon. For formula fields, enter the formula to calculate the field value. Formula fields must be below any numeric input fields that will be used in the formula. Extension formula syntax is similar to quantity worksheet formula syntax. Extension formula operands refer to measurement quantities of area, count, length, or perimeter, or to preceding fields like wall height. Press the Properties button to display the properties for that field. Set the number of decimal places for this field. Choose the unit of measure and set a minimum and maximum value if needed. Increment key. For numeric input fields, this option allows the field value to be incremented by pressing a key. For example, the number of doors could be set to a default of zero with the space key selected for the increment key. While measuring the wall, the space key could be pressed each time a door is encountered to increment the number of doors from 0 to 1, then 2, etc. Multi-page measurements. When the extension is used in a multi-page measurement, there are three options for how the field is entered and used. Enter by page in total. The value is entered or calculated for each page, then totaled for the entire measurement. Enter by page no total. The value is entered or calculated for each page, but the total has no meaning and is not displayed. Enter once for all pages. The value is entered or calculated once for all pages. Height if zero. This control is only enabled for formula fields. If this box is checked and the field evaluates to zero, the field will not appear in the drop-down or control panel quantity list. Quantity as text. Most extension fields that are displayed in the measurement list or the quantity worksheet are displayed as numeric values, but there are cases where alphanumeric text is needed. For example, you might want a drop-down list of window types and display the selected type as text in the measurement list. Measurement list column. If this box is checked, this variable can appear as a column in the measurement list. This is useful when the same variable is used in many extensions or traces. Project Default. You can specify a project default for this value. Then set each value for each project that has a project default variable. Press the OK button to save all changes made to the standard extension and close the standard extension edit window. The extension will be updated or added. When an existing extension is updated, the current project is recalculated including the quantity worksheet. Other projects will be recalculated the next time they are opened. Thank you. That is the end of this training video.